Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. I'm not gonna cheat. It's my Halloween mug, but it matches my shirt. Oh, welcome to my crazy life. Did I say that? I did. Mm. And if I haven't said it recently, if you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I have some new videos up. Um, I have a Dollar Tree haul, and I have more sun damage. I went to my yearly checkup with my dermatologist and found out that I have three more spots, but they're early, young, so she was able to just use a Q-tip and some of that freezy stuff and zapped them. So there's that. All right, I got some newish, newish stuff. I think some of this stuff is new. Some is definitely not new. And there's not a whole bunch of it. So let's get started. Um, I picked up three of these. I liked the color. And I've used these before, but what you have here is you can, um, oops, I don't know if that's, I'm not sure what I did there. Oh, there I go. Okay, so you can slide documents in here, pictures, whatever. And then what I like about this one is there's also a folder. So when I travel, I have some trips coming up and um, two of them, one this year, one next year, they're over, they're Euro European trips. And so these say easy peel, but they're a lie. Um, I bring printed copies of my, some of my documents in case something should go awry with my phone. You know, that everything is so digital these days. Well, I was going to try to show you how easy peel this is, but it's not easy peel. It says it is, but it isn't. Um, anyway, so I put documents in here. Sometimes, um... I have some tour tickets in Ireland for this summer, but you always wanna travel with copies of your driver's license, copies of your passport. That's a big one. Um, what I typically do, I'm gonna stop picking with that, is I put, I leave a copy of my passport at home with a family member. So when I'm traveling, I take a picture of my passport so it's on my phone. And then I have a copy of my passport that I put in my luggage. So if my luggage gets lost, I write on there some contact information for myself and a copy of my passport goes in my luggage. And then I keep a copy in my wallet because I keep my actual passport in my safe. Overkill probably, but when you're not in your home country, you don't ever want to get stuck. Sorry, I dropped that. Without your passport, but you also don't want it to get stolen. So <clears throat> those are kind of the ways I keep things safe. All right, next up. Um, this I know is not new. These are just the silicone little bunny butts. But what I'm gonna use these for is, um, I like to freeze coffee and make, so like my bougie coffee, if you saw that video, well, what I will do is freeze the, the espresso in here and then I can pop it out real easy and put this in my food blender choppy thingy with some milk and make like a frappe. But, and I tried freezing them bigger, but they were a little too big and I thought, well, these are cute. So I'll just do this size. I'll just make my espresso poured in here, freeze it, put them in a baggie. And you can also do that with like Kool-Aid or stuff like that and then put it in your blender and make a frappe. So we're gonna do that. Then I'm starting, I mean, I'm not, where'd the other thing go? Please hold. I'm not starting to get ready for Christmas yet. That's too early even for me. I don't know what I did with it somewhere else, but I grab these every once in a while. Now they're very sparse around Christmas time. These are the cello bags, but these are the shrink wrap ones. So you take your hair dryer to it and it shrink wraps around your basket. So what I do, and even come to the bow, what I do is when I see them, I grab one here, one there, I put them in with my Christmas stuff in my craft room, and then when it is time, oh, my phone's ringing. When it is time to um, make gift baskets, I have a little stockpile. I, you know, I never really have more than four or five of them, but 
they're harder to find at Christmas time. So it's always a nice time of year to stock up on things like that. Plus, I think they bring them out for spring for Easter baskets. Mm. Okay, next up, I picked up some sunflower seeds. I may try to grow one. Obviously, I bought seeds, but these are very large, so I'm not sure where I'm going to grow it. I don't think they'll grow in a planter. We'll have to see, but I bought seeds to try because, I don't know, it's spring, and I feel like I need to plant all the things. Um, I picked up one more of these. I am obsessed with these, the face wipes. And also, I, when I had my party at work for Leap Day and my Life Altering Prizes, one of them was a beauty set, and um, I put one of these in here, and my one of my colleagues got it, and she was like, can you find me more? I said, yeah, girl, they're from the Dollar Tree. And she liked them, too, because they're so soft on your skin. But, you know, they don't last forever. And I made the mistake of washing a load with my towels. So I use one like for two nights and that's it. And then I put it in like my hamper while well, I washed them with my towels. And that was a bad idea because they came out all yucky. So we won't do that again. Mm -mm. Um, I'm always buying these, but these are actually for a specific reason. Well, one of them goes into, I couldn't find them. Over the weekend, I cleared out all of my travel stuff, all my toiletry travel stuff. I haven't gotten into the bin yet, but I have this very bad habit of just grabbing a fresh makeup bag and toiletry bag. I have a bunch of them. And so I emptied them all out and I collected everything together and I made everything tidy. But one thing I would like to have is these in my travel. I have a tub, like a Rubbermaid tote full of travel stuff and I didn't have any of these in there. And these are fantastic if you're traveling with people in a room, like you're sharing a room, especially on a cruise, you can hang these on a hook and you leave notes for each other on them. I thought it was a good idea. Plus they are good if you have wet bathing suits or something, you can use these to hold them. So I just grabbed an extra pack because I can never have too many of those. And then I got this and I don't remember if I've ever seen this before, but it's called space tape. And I'm wondering if it's supposedly the same stuff as this. I think it is. It's super thick tape. And it's supposed to stick to like everything. Now the thing is, it's very sticky. There we go. But I don't think I've ever seen it at the Dollar Tree. But I know that I've seen it on other. Oh, yeah. It's like super sticky on that side, but it's double-sided. So then you peel this off and now it's double stick. Um, and it's really sticky, but I also don't think it damages things. So it's, you clean it, you stick it, you peel the top off and then it grips. It says perfect for most flat surfaces, leather, wood, concrete, marble, and more. And this is a three foot roll. I thought that was pretty nifty, especially if you're like, I'm going to put this back together, but if you're trying to like hang things in a garage or, you know, somewhere where you want a good stick. I know my niece uses something very similar to this on cinder block in her classroom. That Their walls are cinder and she uses something. It's a name brand, but I don't remember what it's called, but I picked this up to try because I thought it would be fun. I don't know. You already saw a portion of this, but it's a black pot. Um, I am repotting a lot of my plants because um, it's time to repot a lot of my plants. And I wanted to get a cohesive color scheme going, so I bought a bunch of black and white pots. Um, what I like about these is you can take your screwdriver and a hammer and knock out the bottoms if you want them to drain. But if you don't, there is some room in there for it to drain without it pouring out the bottom. When I do inside house plants, I have a love-hate relationship with the holes in the bottom because I don't like to ruin my um, furniture. This is an, so I take that off. It's an eight inch pot and I have a bunch, I have a bunch that need to be repot this summer or spring soon. So I grabbed that, I bought a big white one. I got a bunch at Walmart. I'll bring you along when I repot, but I got a bunch at Walmart and then I got that. At the Dollar Tree, they didn't have, oh, and I got a big black one also at the Dollar Tree. 
Um, in the houseware section, I am dying. Somebody kill me. Look at these bags. They are perfect spring. They have tulips. Oh, I should have got the ones I saw. They had carrots. I don't need more. These have tulips and flowers. And then you get the two pack. So these are the Sure Fresh. And they're great. And I will tell you how I clean mine. Let's take a thumbnail first for spring. I use them like you do. And then when I come home, the only thing is I wish I had a flat bottom. When I bring them home from wherever, I put soap in there and I take my bottle brush and I clean out the inside. And then I lay it over something like this so the air can circulate and it gets up in there and dries. If you have something that you need to wash these. And they clean up really well and then they seal and they have a nice seal. I will tell you that. You can also use these um, for your lunch or you can put like makeup in here. There's all kinds of stuff you can do, but I love these. I have the fall ones and now I found spring. And if that was carrots and I, I don't think I passed them up. I think it was the tulips that's supposed to look like it, but yeah, they hold a fair amount. Like I said, if it had a flat bottom, that would be better, but it doesn't. Although I think they did have some with flat bottoms, but there, this is a nice seal. So for the kitchen, um, for a cruise. So if you didn't know on a cruise ship, the walls are magnetic. So I got this for my room. It's not until next year, but I want to share it with you guys. I saw this on another video. You can use the dry, take the dry erase board if you want, but I think what I might just do is take a Sharpie and write out what our week itinerary is. So we're gonna get on the ship, I think on a Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. I have to check, but I can put the date and what we're doing at sea, in Santorini, in Mykonos, in Rome, whatever. Put it on here, and then we'll know, me and my little cabin mates, who happen to be my little cousins, who aren't so little anymore, and that is rude. They are 21 and 17. I know, their mother allowed that to happen, and I'm mad at her for it. Um, I found these to show you, not that I need another dang bag in my life, but you know, whatever. It says the essentials and it's a, they have two different kinds. This one with the flat bottom we talked about and one without a flat bottom that I think says makeup. The reason I really like this bag specifically, you could use this for anything really. Pens, pencils, but look how much that will hold but it's mesh. Take this sucker to the beach and if you get sand in your stuff, you just shake it and it filters it out. Plus, if you're using like, when I travel or go wherever, my wet face thing, I can put it in here and it won't mold and mildew because this is breathable. It's mesh. So I thought that was pretty fantastic. The essentials could be anything. It could be a pencil bag. It could be a makeup bag. It could be a craft bag. It can be anything you want it to be. But what I like about it is what it will hold. And quite frankly, this would be great in my carry-on bag with snacks. I love a snack. I love me a good snack. But I don't know. I wanted to show you. It came in purple, pink, and black. And they were all different. But I like that that had the, um, the mesh. Um, car cleaning, it's that time of year. I love these, put your hand in it and you get in there and you just dust everything that doesn't move in that car. And um, yeah, it's great for your dashboard. You can also spray this and then you can throw this in the washing machine. Also, it doesn't have to be for your car. If you're dusting your house, why not? These are great dusters. I love them. So I grabbed this one. I should have got another one for inside the house, but let's not get crazy. I don't need two of everything. I have to remind myself of that. Oh, I got myself this one too. Because I liked purple. I need to replace a few, so I'm stocking up. Um, I picked up these masks, or these, I'm sorry. These are facial sponges. Um, but when I go to Canada, they're now coming with me as a sink sponge to wash my coffee cup out. Um, so I'm going to a retreat. 
next month in Canada, up in Canada. And it's just a sponge. I mean, it's not, it's a cellulose sponge. It's nothing, nothing about it. There's no makeup on it. There's no chemical on it. It's literally a sponge. And look how tiny it is. It is perfect. Perfect to throw in, well, A, you can put this in your car hold, cup holder if you spill coffee a lot like I do, and it will literally soak it up, but that might get gross. But I put this inside of a little zip bag with a little bit of dish soap in a small little bottle and take it with me so I can wash my coffee cup because I bring with me, when I can, I bring with me a water bottle and I bring with me a reusable coffee cup. And... Obviously, I like to clean it, and so these are like the perfect size. And quite frankly, if you wanted to go smaller, you can cut them in half, and then you would get four. And then I toss it, I toss it out when I leave the hotel, so I don't need to bring it home. Um, I found these. Oh, I'm excited! I'm gonna give them to my employee, but or my coworker. But these are Bic ultra washable, long lasting colored markers. They are name brand, Bic. They are washable and they are indeed markers. And they're nice. Just a nice little pointy tip marker. Let's see what color it comes out. Yeah, it's real bright for the yellow and they're pretty pigmented. And for $1.25, you've got some Easter baskets to fill. This would be fantastic. A pack of big markers, some notebook, coloring books, whatever. That's a good deal. I'll bring it to work. I wanted to show you. But these are ultra washable medium markers. Uh, block, block tip resists to pushing it in. So if they write really hard, it won't go in. Will not dry out even if uncapped for up to a week. Ultra washable ink on skin and most clothes. They come, you can get them in crayons, color pencils, markers, or a combo pack. And yeah. And that's a fantastic deal for $1.25. So I got that. And then the last thing I got, and I'm going to do a little video on these. I found this Hereford Beef Crumbles. I was very, very curious. It is rip and ready spicy seasoned beef. Now the spicy makes me a little nervous. Is made from the finest cuts of beef, then cooked to perfection, tastes great as meal or served with rice or tortillas. And you can put cook it on the stovetop or heat it up in the microwave. And the ingredients is cooked beef. That's the first ingredients. Um, there is some onion powder, there's a little multidextrin, salt, cumin, so chili spices. It sounds like it's taco meat, if you ask me. Probably because it's taco meat. But we're going to try it. I, if it's too spicy, too spicy, I can add sour cream or ranch dressing to it and make a taco salad. That is my plan. Um, now, the best buy is August of 24, so these need to be eaten up. I got three of them. So, um, which, I mean, this is almost a pound of ground beef. It's six ounces for $1.25. I don't care if it's in a package or not. I eat tuna out of a package. I eat chicken. We eat spam. Okay, I don't eat spam, but some people eat spam. So I'm not going to be weirded out. I'm not. I'm going to try it. I'm going to hope like heck it's not overly spicy for me. And then I'm going to make taco salad for my lunch this week. And I will report back. We'll have a little tasting I have to go to the grocery store because I don't have any ingredients to make a taco salad, <laughs> except for spicy meat. I need to get um, lettuce. Oh, I do have cheese. I need to get lettuce and some sour cream and, yeah, onions to make it. But So that is all I got that this that trip. That's all I got this trip to the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoyed and my little antidotes of what I'm using all my things for, but you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later.